Oh, here we are, here we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. I'm your Saturday night. It's Thursday. Not Saturday at all. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to get together and we're going to play Valheim. Why? Because it's fun. <clears throat> now, getting everything set here. And then we're going to play. It's going to be fun. I'm not going to take a lot of time to get into this. I'm going to roll right into the game. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, all. But it is time for Valheim. Made a rhyme. It's not a crime. It's Valheim. <laughs> Occasionally, I can be a bit silly. But we're here to have some fun because it's our Thursday night gaming together. And that's that's a good enough reason to have fun, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump right into this. And it's, it's going to be great. Getting right here. Let's go ahead. We're going to jump right into Wobble Knob. Wobble Knob! That's our world, Wobble Knob. <clears throat> now, I should have my closed captions working. Feel free to let me know if they are. You know. They should be. And if they're not, well, I guess we'll know soon, won't we? Wait for Valheim to load up. <clears throat> Ooh, here we go. You feel stronger. <laughs> that's that's good news to already have, isn't it? Here we are. I have some trees that have fallen on my... Uh, yeah. So we're going to go right over here. We're going to get started properly. I want to make sure that I have repaired all of my stuff. We have, we have things to do. We have so many things to do. So, I still have some stone here. I still have some wood. We're going to need to do some building here. One thing I'm actually going to have to do is I'm going to be coming down here. And I'm going to be going ahead and right here... We're going to need this here crafting station, you know, just a, a nice little workbench. All right, good. And now that we have this out, what we're also going to be doing is going to get over here. I should have some stone available to me. And we need to continue building up what is, of course, our defensive area. So we're sticking one thing right there. Gonna move along over here. We're gonna try to get that where it's supposed to go. Actually, you know what? We're gonna double wall it. Why not? Now we are out of the stone that we need, but that's okay. So there's also these things down here, sharp stakes. We're gonna need to start building those soon and that's going to go around our outer defenses but we need core wood so we're going to be have to we're going to have to cut down a lot more trees uh, but we have all sorts of good stuff here and what i'm actually going to be doing right now do, 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 is i'm going to need this ladder right there and that's just to help me get to places i need to go to build Oh, we're going to go ahead and get this. We're going to start to get rid of some more of this grass. Okay. 
All right, and actually what that is doing is that's taking our living space and it's getting it a little more private. Because we're going to be doing all of our building up over here. All right, I can hear monsters outside. They're not our concern at the moment. All right, we're going to get this. What we actually need to do also... See those... Um, those stone walls are good for certain spots, but they're not necessarily good for what's going to be our home. And there's nothing wrong with building portions of our home out of this wonderful uh, wooden wall. I'm going to add some extra roof over there. And that's, again, it's just, it's things just to make this all better for us, right? Right. Here, we're actually going to start kind of building out. We need to start building out. <clears throat> I'm going to have to put some internal structures in here. And some of this stuff is going to end up leaving as we build. But you can see there's there's lots of places we need to build stuff. Lots of places. Now, right now, I'm actually just trying to get some extra support here. Because even though I'm not going to build over top of that entire fireplace, I do want to be able to have a nice little walkway here. Because we're going to need additional ways to really just keep everything working. That's what we're doing here. We need these supports to help keep our home together. I built that in the wrong spot. We're going to get rid of it. Don't worry. Alright. And then, what we're actually going to do is going to get that out. Alright. Things are looking pretty good here. We still have 24 wood. We still have one stone. We need a lot more stone. <clears throat> we have a backup axe if we need one. We do have our primary porcupine weapon here, uh, which, you know, hopefully it's going to get better over time. We should probably eat, but that's not my first priority at the moment. In fact, my first priority right now is really just trying to make this a nice home. And that's something we want. Hey, Silver Fox, good to see you. We are gonna need some fine wood. Um, 
just to make some nice things, furniture and whatnot. So that is something that's high on our list. Hi, Finding Cherry. How are you doing? So we got Silver Fox and Finding Cherry here. Hope you're doing great. Uh, at the waiting room at the dentist. Oh, my. Well, got to be somewhere, right? All right. Look at that. I don't like that. But it's okay. We're getting things built up here. You know, I like how it really takes some time. You can't just, you know, monsters just can't come in here. They just can't come in. We're actually going to run up here. So we have another outer wall there. Now, one of the things that we still need to do is we still need to harvest a lot of wood. I really should eat, actually, for this, I think. But we need plenty of wood. We need plenty of stone. So if it doesn't need to be here, we're getting rid of it. Apparently I'm cold. little bit of Viking adventure. This is just fun. Alright, so here's one of my trenches. Whoa! And a boar. Hey, look at all this stone. Oh, this is a bunch of stuff that I had already harvested that has been sitting down here because I didn't have enough room to carry it. Now we have, now we have room. Oh, this is great. We're going to have a bunch of stone here in a minute that we really need to continue building outward. Oh, there's some wood. We needed that. There's monsters trying to get into uh, the house. It knows there's a weak spot there. Oh, that's too hard. I can't cut that. And <laughs> the monster's too high for me to attack him. There we go. Little grayling. Cut that apart. We have that log just leaning on our fort. We should probably take that down. You can see the graylings and everything just wandering around out there.
the other one go? Oh, it ran all the way over there. All right. Oh, and here's where we do just a little bit of running. Oh, that's a gray dwarf, actually. Well, we just managed to get some important items. The sun is coming out. Let's check it out. Because, of course, the sun rises in Valheim. That's pretty. Absolutely beautiful. See some gray dwarves way over there. Get rid of this. I actually think that I would like an unobstructed view of this. So we're going to do a little mild deforestation. Don't worry. It's fine. They're digital trees. Good, good, good. Nope, there's a little bit left. Alright, hold on. Get the axe out. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Getting hit from both sides? That's not even fair. There we go. <clears throat> so much to take down. We got some beach seeds. There are actually ways to plant, replant trees later in the game. Ooh. And then. Managed to break that axe, but I have a spare. That's something you need. You need a spare. Now, I probably am out of room. Let's take a look. Yeah. All right, back to the base we go. Now we're gonna get that, we're gonna get that. We're not in range of one of our stone cutting tables, so apparently. Hmm. It's actually surprising. Did one get destroyed? Nope, wrong button. Oh, I took off my strong belt accidentally. All right. <clears throat> now 
There we go. That's a better wall, right? Oops. Oh, I can hear the monster. I just can't see it. Oop. That was silly. Alright, so... What we're actually going to be doing here is something kind of fun. Assuming I can get up this hill. Now we want to make sure that we're within range. Actually. Gonna get rid of this. It's just in the way. Hope everyone is doing wonderful tonight. Glad you get to join me for some more uh, fun times in the Viking world of Valheim. Oh, there we go. There was a little lag. That's okay. Everything worked out in the end. All right. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab this. Now we're right where we should be. We're actually going to go ahead. Oop. That didn't happen the way I wanted it to. But that's okay. Watch. That's so simple. Is it? Now, I'm going to get this. I need that. Now, <clears throat> Essentially, what I am doing here is I'm creating a way for myself to travel to what would normally be a very limited space. Forts on forts. That's it. Build, 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 build. That's what we want to do. We want to build as much as we can. 
we really want to take full advantage of what we have here. Sometimes you have to reposition yourself to build right. But if you played any game with like a building mechanic, you know that not all of this stuff works like super precisely, even if the game wants it to. So what we're actually going to do here, get out this, and I'm going to go ahead. Oop, out of the way. I'm about to level this all off, so you're going to see this is kind of cool how this works. Now I didn't level it all off perfectly, but I did just level it off. Now let's take a look. Do I have enough stone left? I do. Now we want our walls to be as safe as possible, which sometimes also means making them unnecessarily big. I don't know what that just was, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> now we have this nice little double wall here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to build it out even more. Grab that. What we actually now have is a pretty decent extension on our fort. We extend the fortifications make everything a little bit nicer. We can get further out. What I'm actually gonna do now, because this inner wall has become slightly less important, is I'm gonna break that down. Now it might not look super great right now, but that's okay. We're not building for looks right now, we're building for a function. Am I back? Let 
Oh, hold on. Am I back? Am I back? Should be back. Looks like we had a little hiccup there. Hopefully everything's working again. Looks like it. Hopefully you're still here with me. We had a little hiccup, but I think it's been taken care of. I still have enough. I did good. All right. Now that we have this here, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this again. And that is the most important reason to have this over here. Because we have now increased our building level or our, our radius even more. Now, you will notice there is one issue out here. And that is the fact that if you are out in this section, you know, yes, it's defended. Which is great. We're happy about that. What we're not happy about is the fact that we can't necessarily get straight back to the main fort if we go around to the outside of the wall. We will deal with all of this in time. Now, we do need to go ahead and get rid of some trees. And actually go ahead. So I'm going to jump into here. Going to make some logs. Alright, I'm going to cut some logs. I've been tunneling right away in here. So 
all sorts of um, spots. We're good. We're good. All right. Now, that log is right in the way. And what we're actually going to be doing here is continuing to dig downward. I actually want this to be deeper here. Because I don't want anything to be able to get into that area at all. I don't want any monster to have the capacity to get in there. I've seen some people build really impressive stuff in uh, Valheim. Uh, we are not going to be those people. We are going to be... Fortified, trench digging, wall building, survivalists. Because I don't want anyone of any sort getting in to our home. We will have to go back to the fort in a minute and get some sleep. Nope. Oh, and actually we're going to have to go back for a different reason. Um, I need to uh, repair my tools. We are not wasting our food yet. I know it doesn't seem like it would be wasting it if we went ahead and ate right now, but... You have to keep in mind, uh, since food is a limited resource here, you know, we don't want to eat more than we actually have to to complete the job we're doing. Is it dangerous to try to get back to the, to the main inside area of port? A little bit. Is it okay? Of course it is. This is our safety area. We want this to stay safe. So let's go ahead. We're going to fix our stuff really quick. And then we're going to get some rest. Thank you for the emote, Silver Fox. This is not the most comfortable portion of our our nice fort, but it is pretty. It is pretty nice. Okay, so we have more wood, we have more stone, we have more resin. So actually, I'm going to go ahead, and what I'm going to do is what we want. It's a little more light out here. 
This light's just gonna help for now. You know, we don't really need this for anything other than helping us when we need to build. That's what this is here for. Alright. As you can see, there's all sorts of furniture here that we can build. Oh, that's a new one. Jack a turnip. Oh, if I had turnips, I would make one. Like, there's just tons of stuff here. Uh, all really nice. Um, lots of building materials. As soon as we get a forge set up, uh, we're actually going to be able to do a lot more. Like, I'm going to need a lot more supplies. Um, I'm going to need artisan tables and, and cores. Uh, ooh, sharpening stone. Ooh, how do I make that? I don't know how I get a sharpening stone. Um, butcher's table. You know, we have a lot of really good stuff here. Chain, deer hide. Now, to get chain, actually, we're just going to need to go out and adventure more. But to get a forge, we're going to need copper. And I think we're going to need... Ooh. Oh, that takes iron. A glass furnace. Got a charcoal kiln. So we need certling cores to make a charcoal kiln and a smelter. And then we can actually start refining metals that we dig up. And that's going to be tons of fun. We do have some certling cores sitting from a place we went. Um, just so you know, there's also fun things that you can make in this. So we're going to be able to build portals to other areas, carts, boats. Actually, for this boat, I just need enough leather scraps to be able to build that. Uh, coin stacks, coin piles, like big boats. Ugh. Like you can see, like that's, I don't have the supplies to build it, but you can see, look at that big boat. So we're going to be able to build stuff like that eventually. And that's what we're working towards. But right now, let's go ahead. So we've started building outward, which is great. Uh, we're going to have to actually continue working on reinforcing our home area. Because this central fort, this is what's going to be keeping us safe so as soon as we get this built up further oh and I'm out of stone that's okay we have wood we're gonna be able to use that But I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to get here and, uh, okay, I know what I need to do. What I'm going to do is in the furniture, I'm actually going to build a chest. I'm going to get that chest right over there. Let me get that out. And we're going to open that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick this. Now these gray dwarf eyes, really useful. We're going to stick those in there. We're going to start piling our extra wood in here. Uh, those, those, those. Uh, it's pretty much if we don't need it right now, we're not carrying it. Oh, we got this fun little skeleton trophy that we can throw right there. And these seeds. So now we've got a bunch of extra supplies. We're stowing them away in this chest in our camp. I'm going to keep the resin because it can be useful. But we're actually going to go ahead and eat some food. I know that was my last mushroom, but, you know, it's okay. Because we need to venture outward. And see, look at, look at this nice uh, quick path I'm going to have. Now, it won't be so quick to get back inside, but... 
what we need to do is we need to get out into the wide world, preferably somewhere we haven't been, and we're going to need to, you know, we're going to have to adventure. Find some monsters, find more uh, resources, just generally get out here and just get into the thick of things. Not just resource supplies like this, but we do need we do need some of those. I'll just grab some of that. Look at that. I grabbed some wood. We need to find things like little dungeons, like we found that one time, where we can get things like certainly cores and fight skeletons. Uh, but we're also going to have to find things like troll barrows. Now I don't have any weapons that can really take down a troll easily but it is a choice and we're also going to have to get some deer trophies for when we find the first boss area look at this we're already exploring out into the world Isn't that, look at how beautiful that is so here we are we're exploring out into the world I'm going to get my shield out now just in case. Ooh. We want those berries. We need those. Here's some more berries. I do need to get deer, so uh, we'll have to be more careful when hunting deer. Got a pretty nice bow here, as you can see. I do have items which are a lot higher level than um, I should have right now, but that's part of the fun. Come on. Oh, dang it. I'm a bad hunter, by the way. Not exactly the best hunter in the game. I'm trying. Oh, I'm going to lose that arrow. Okay. Thank you for even more emotes. They are appreciated. We're actually getting to adventure right now, so if you look at the map, we haven't gone up this way yet. Oh, look. There's some ruins. That's kind of stuff we need to remember. Oh, and those are ruins with bees. What was that? Oh. Hello, boar. <laughs> hey, we got some leather. Nice. So those are bees. Eventually we'll be able to build beehives and actually, like, apiaries and actually keep them. So let me just go ahead. Bees. want to be able to remember where those are. Oh, that actually worked really good. Ooh, we got deer meat. Nice. Deer hide. Even better. <laughs> Love bees. You know, they're great, and we can collect honey from them. We just have to get the ability to build an apiary. Um, so that will come in time. Ooh, some berries. We need these. We're going to need food, you know. We need that food. Good, good, good. But I am looking for not just ruins, but I'm looking for a dungeon, like a troll barrow or something.
Preferably no monsters that I can't handle. Come on, Mr. Deer. Oh, dang it. Well, that's that's not Mr. Deer. Hell, it's the wrong way to say that anyway. Okay. We are getting pretty deep in here. Got myself boar. Good. We got some boar meat. Good stuff. If we find ruins out here and we get some wood really quick, we can actually make a temporary home if we need to. Easier said than done, but... It is something that you can do in this game, and can be really useful. I am getting deep into the forest. Oh dear. Look at this. Fortunately, we have a map, so at least we know which way to go to get back. But, oh my goodness. Don't feel rested anymore. I can understand that. We've been out here exploring. Oh, spots like this. This is good. This is somewhere that we could find a dungeon or a cave or something. We'll keep our eyes open. I heard something. Oh, yeah, we're getting into some dangerous territory now. Whoa, we're in the Black Forest. I believe it's this one. Yeah, good. We're going to start sneaking. You want to be really careful in the Black Forest. Um, because your chances of finding something out here that will want to smush you are pretty high. So we're going to keep our eyes open for trolls, skeletons, <gasps> and that. Is that just ruins? It is, but look at these nice ruins. Whoa! Go, oh, crud nuggets. Walked right into that. Oh. I am not doing hot right now. Alright, between the bees and um, poison from the brute, that did not go well for me. But what we want to do is we want to mark this on our map again. Bees and ruins. Nice. Alright. But at least we know where this is. In worst case scenario, we can come back here. I was hoping that that was a dungeon, but it was not. These are some nice ruins. Look at that. We could make something nice out of this. Let's get that back out. All 
I think we should circle back. Because even though we're in the Black Forest, we really need to be careful. So we should start to circle backward and then see if we can find anything on the way back. We're going to eat a raspberry really quick. Ooh, blueberries. Yeah. Thistle. Good. Found some more supplies, at least. Sometimes you gotta look around and hear noises. There are some scary things out here. This thistle is, is good though. We need this thistle. We're gonna be able to make stuff out of it later. We'll cook with it. But yeah, I don't like when I hear sounds like that because it's like, oof. Am I in danger? I could be. But I want to be careful. Oh. It's kind of looking swampy here, isn't it? Whoa! Crud. Okay, let's just deal with you. Oh, come on. Alright, we're going to get out the big weapon. I don't want to break it, but I might need to use it. New items. What is this? Gray Dwarf Nest. We're getting rid of that. Oh. Alright. We got some good stuff out of there. Oh. Alright. What did we get? We're pretty loaded up right now. Ooh, what are these? Book Perries. Oh, I see what they did with that name. Allows the consumer to quickly evacuate any misplaced meal and start anew. We will hold on to those. <gasps> carrot seeds. Oh, I might have to throw something down so I can take these carrot seeds. What do I want to throw down? That's fine wood. We don't want to throw that down. Wood wood we can throw down. Carrot seeds are useful and we're going to keep those. Because we will be able to plant carrots later. Alright. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. All right, I think the, the plan right now is to try to safely make it back to the fort if we can. Yeah. The sun is going down. The world is going to get more dangerous really fast. Nope, no, no, keep going, keep going down. Yeah. Oh. We're a long way from home. Okay. So if I keep going this way, I should get to Fort McKenzie. Just have to avoid everything that could possibly attack us on the way. Oh, 
Well, not avoid all of it. Just a lot of it. We don't want to fight unless we absolutely have to. Oh, we're getting some mountainous terrain here. We don't even have a spot for this mushroom. Okay, fine. Leave the mushroom. You hear the monsters already. Oh, nice ruins. Let's just take care of this boar. Oh, take care of you. It's the kind of stuff that we need. Oh, look at this ruined village. Marked it on the map. Let's keep traveling. As much as I like this place, I do not want to be here right now. But we will be able to use this in the future. That is a for certain. We still have a long way to travel, so let's just keep running. As much as we can. Alright, this is, this is familiar. Good. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, we are stranded out in the middle of nowhere. This is actually a game that it's recommended you play with other people. Oh, is that another ruined house? Looks like pretty nice. Anything in it? No? Well, at least we can take a moment. Get on the map. House. Okay, we are getting there. We have a lot of unexplored territory in the middle. Uh, we'll get back to actually sorting that all out later. Now the forest is about to get deeper again. But that was a good exploratory run. It really was. We're starting to get closer to places that we know. So far we haven't had to fight anything really big. I mean, that shaman and the brute were pretty bad. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, I really want that deer. Let's see if we can get it. I don't think we're going to be able to get that deer. All right, back on path, back on path. Ugh, I'm hungry. What can I eat? I can eat a piece of meat. That's what I can eat. I don't want to eat all my food. Save your food for the adventure. The big stuff. Big stuff. It's another ruin. Whew. 
Nah, I improved my running skill. Okay, yeah, we're on our way. Thank you, by the way, for being here tonight. For joining in this Valheim fun. Why can't I aim right? Oh, it doesn't matter. <sighs> it's because I'm focused on what I'm doing. That's what it is. Or, actually, I, I, I guess I'm focused on what I'm doing. I'm getting stuck in trees. We're almost there. Come on. Oop. Oh, dang it. Sometimes you just got to get the ball. Oh, but our fort is near. Our fort is near. Woo! Oh, and then, of course, my trench is deep, so falling into it does hurt. Come on. I'm getting there. Haha. -ha. That's a bad sign. If I can do that, a monster can. All right. We've made it back with some supplies. I need to feed our fire really quick. Oh, I'm out of wood. I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to trade carrot seeds for wood. We have to feed the fires because it won't let us sleep without a fire nearby. Interesting game mechanic. Alright, we're going to take some shelter and sleep. We did have a lot of adventure out there. I had one little glitch in the stream. It's all right. It happens. In game time, we've been on this world for 25 days. And in 25 days, I already built this kind of nice little sprawling fort in a whole bunch of ditches. And I'm going to call that a pretty good win. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff here. We have fine wood. We have all these things. We're going to need to build another chest. We're going to have to do some cooking. Actually, one thing that we're going to do really quick, because it's just a necessity. So we're going to put right here. Boom. Boom. We now have two cooking stations right there. Yeah, we'll just do a little quick cooking. Restore our meat supply. This has been a whole lot of fun. Thank you, by the way, for being here with me tonight. I appreciate it so much. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time with me in Valheim. And, you know, I, I hope that you have a wonderful evening. We're going to pull our meat off the fire here. All cooked up and good. Now we have a nice fresh supply of food. Woo! 
look at that, and we have more meat to cook, too. So we got some deer meat, and we still have some more boar meat. That's going to be great. We have these berries, which are just awful. Oh. And we have a lot more to build, a lot more to do, but... This is pretty nice, and I feel it's a pretty difficult to get into fort. So hopefully it's difficult for our enemies. You can see some trees that I've been cutting down out there. We actually want to try to clear cut as much of that to the coast as we can for our own safety and for building material and for the ability to build out. Because I am going to continue building until we actually build a little port out here. And once we have a port... And I have enough leather scraps built up. We can actually build a boat and we can go seafaring. And that's going to be fun. <laughs> but I am going to go ahead. I'm going to bid you adieu for now. Um, listen, just thank you so much for being here. You're excellent. You're awesome. Keep being awesome. And I'll see you all again real soon. But... I'm going to bid you adieu. Farewell, my wonderful friends. Let's <laughs> see. Bye.